Hello everybody, I am Wiggle Brito and I am back with another video. This week, I'm going to take another break from the How to Get Better With, so I promise I'll do one in my next video. The next video that isn't a kill streak, obviously. Now you might be wondering really what this video will actually be, because I mean, I've seen countless, and I'm sure you've seen countless, like just rankings of every hero from 22 to 1. It's kind of just the same things. It's not exactly the same order and list, obviously, but like... It's kind of the same gist in every video. BB and I need is closer to the last, Phasma's closer to last, Ray's usually listed as the worst lightsaber hero, and then top five is like, not in this order, but just Kylo, Vader, Anakin, Luke, Grievous, Palpatine. It's kind of, it's kind of just the same thing. So I want to do something different. I'm still going to rank all 22 heroes. I'm not going to leave some of them out, but I'm just going to rank them of how fun they are to play, not of how good they are. And just one more thing before we get the video started, this is kind of applies to any game mode where you can play as a hero. You know, Hero Showdown, Heroes vs. Villains, Capital Supremacy, Galactic Assault, stuff like that. And just one last thing before we get the list started. Remember, this is my opinion, so if you have something different, like you don't agree with my number one, that's because I probably enjoy playing that hero more than you do. So without further ado, I think it's time to get right into the most fun hero to play in Star Wars Battlefront 2. And that hero is Yoda. So I'm just going to try to keep this short, maybe like at most a minute for each hero, because usually when you rank all these, rather, rather you're ranking all the heroes on how good they are or anything like that, they tend to be pretty long, like 25 minutes plus. I'm going to try to make this video a little shorter than that. So I'm going to try to keep this short. So first of all, Yoda's size just makes you so hard to hit if, you, if you're going against someone who has a blaster, whether it's a hero or infantry or anything. And most importantly, I think why he's so fun to play in any mode is just because he has three abilities that are crucial to how to have playing with him. Because if you don't know what I mean by that, a lot of heroes just have two abilities that are really good and then kind of a third ability that you don't really use. You occasionally use it, but what I mean by that is, you know, Grievous, you don't really use his LBRB that much. Anakin, you don't really use his passive strike that much, stuff like that. So more reasons of how Yoda is the most fun hero to play. It's not all about how good he is and what his abilities are and stuff. A lot of it for me is just the character. His voice is so iconic and his voice lines are so good. Whether it's just like, you know, him blurting rat out something randomly in a battle or him like having actual conversation with like Maul or Dooku or someone. I mean, I know while you're playing Yoda, you don't like actively listen for his voice lines and like think they're cool or not because obviously you should be focusing on playing Yoda if you're playing Yoda. But I'm just mean just kind of in the background, his voice lines don't get old. They're not like cringy or anything. They're and having a heal ability is just so much better for keeping you alive and if you think about it a lot of reasons a hero is fun to play is if you can play them and how to play a hero is staying alive and how to stay alive is usually if you have a heal button so i already know this is going to be pretty controversial that a lot of you are going to say he's not the most fun to play and there's some people that don't like playing him at all but in my opinion yoda is the most fun hero to play in star wars battlefront 2. So moving quickly along, because I'm realizing this video is already over 3 minutes and we've gotten over 1 out of the 22, so stop right there, past Wiggle Rito. This is future Wiggle Rito here to tell you that this is part 1 of 2. Part 2 will be coming out tomorrow, because I don't want to give you guys a 25 plus minute video, because those are tend to be pretty boring to sit through. So this is going to go over Heroes 1 through 11, and then part 2 is going to be 12 through 22. So the second most fun hero to play, in my opinion, is Kylo Ren. I mean, he's just the whole package. He looks super cool to begin with. His voice sounds super cool, whether his mask is on or off. I personally like it off, but I mean, I see why people love it when his mask on. His voice is super cool. More importantly, his abilities are so fun to use. They're so, they're nothing even related to defensive. They're just three super offensive abilities. They're super fun to use. His lightsaber sounds super cool. And overall, you really can't go wrong with choosing Kylo in any game mode where he's actually available. So at number 3, I'm going to guess this is going to be another controversial one, is actually Boba Fett. Now Boba Fett has the same thing as Kylo. He looks super cool, he sounds super cool, and his abilities are only focused on getting kills and helping the other ability get kills. But the real reason why Boba Fett is so fun to play is because if you can just put in that little, like, week of practice, it's honestly, like, it could be shorter than a week, but if you just put in that practice, he can literally be, like, it can be funny how hard it is, how hard people are trying to hit you out of the air, and they can't. And that, what I just said there kind of applies to, like, trooper game modes, but also in HVV, he's just so fun to play, because even though it, it is really cheap and kind of annoying when a Boba Fett just starts flying away when you look at him, but it's just so fun just taking control of the skies, no one can even touch you, while you're just killing people left and right without him even seeing you. 
So coming in at number four is Impera Palpatine. So the first reason is the same reason as the three ones prior to this. These voice lines are so good, debatably the best in the game. Stay tuned for a couple of minutes, they'll show you who I think actually has the best voice lines. But on top of that, and more importantly, he's just so fun to play because if you think about it, you just look at them and hold both triggers, and then after a couple seconds, they're gonna be dead. And then if you're lightning that person and there's a lot of more people around them, wait a couple seconds, then press LB. Because honestly, once you get past just getting used to always jumping and dashing with Palpatine, he's just so easy, but yet fun to play. Closing out the top 5 at the position number 5 is my personal main and highest level hero approaching level 600, General Grievous. And now I bet you're asking, so why is Grievous not like 1 or 2 if he's your favorite to play and he's your highest level? Well I have a perfect reason for that, because 90% of the time Grievous is super fun to play, I have a blast playing with him with any game mode, but that other 10% of the time can be super annoying. You wanna know what some of that 10% is? Here's some examples, when you're Claw Rush, you, you rush over a pebble and it cancels randomly. When your Thruster decides it doesn't want to do damage and it just wants to spin you around in a circle. And also when your Unrelenting Advance decides it doesn't want to give you damage reduction. So apart from those annoying things and a few other minor annoying things that Grievous sometimes happens with, he's super fun to play and I recommend trying him out if you haven't already. So for number 6, we're going to go back to the light side and number 6 is Obi-Wan Kenobi. So really everyone in the top 10 on this list is going to have like my favorite voice lines that I love listening to. Some of them are super good. And Obi-Wan, I, I would say, has the best voice lines in the game. So this is kind of the same thing as Yoda. Obi-Wan obviously doesn't have the heal ability, but it almost feels like you have one. But because how good his, his health regeneration is. And I said this in the Yoda one and I'll say this again. Health regeneration makes you stay alive and staying alive makes you play the hero more. And usually you'll have more fun if you're actually alive as the hero and not dying in three minutes. And you know, adding to the fact, and this is definitely the most important thing, running around spamming hello there is definitely a reason making Obi-Wan more fun. So with that, that takes us to number seven, my other light side main, Luke Skywalker. So let's start off with some of the reasons why Luke might not be so much fun to play. And what a reason I find occasionally, maybe like a couple, like once a week, where I kind of feel like Luke is kind of annoying to play as, is when it comes down to his health regeneration. So if you're unfamiliar, Luke has 200 health regeneration, which is below average, then that's the two, average 250 health regeneration of a average lightsaber hero. So this can make Luke feel like sort of a napkin sometimes. If you run into a room with one too many supercharged sentries, you can come out with a lot less health than you want. But a big reason that makes Luke so fun to play is his Intensify Star card. So if you're unfamiliar, this makes it where so if you get about 10 or so kills, you can be able to one-shot 150 health infantry. And you might be saying, well, yeah, two other heroes can do that too. Yeah, you're right. Anakin can and Grievous can. But those are both those are both star cards that take their stamina while they do that. Luke's, Luke's has no drawbacks. There's no, he can do more damage, but it's less stamina. No, it's just 150 health infantry and his, plus his super fast swing speed, you can get on a roll with Luke. So in the number eight spot is Darth Maul. So Darth Maul can fall under the same drawbacks as Luke can because Darth Maul has the same health regeneration as Luke and 50 less health. So at times Darth Maul can feel like you really don't have a lot of health at all and while that is completely true, a lot of times Darth Maul can feel like you're just a red and black blur throughout the room and no one can even touch you. Combining Maul's spin attacks with his lightsaber throw and his dodges just makes you so fun, hard to hit and so fun to play as. Not to mention his voice is super cool and Duel of the Fates when you spawn in is super nice. So coming in at a solid 9 spot is Anakin. So the reason why Anakin is so fun and makes our top 10 is because his LB ability and his LBR ability. So yeah, while combining these abilities is super cheap and way overused and it needs to be nerfed even though it won't be, it's also super fun taking out 15 guys with 2 abilities. Also combine that with his 900 health, optional that is if you like the Tenacious Star card, which I personally do. He is just so hard to die with. And the reason he's not higher on this list is because I play him a lot, he's super fun to use, he's my highest level light side hero. But he's just, it, he comes off kind of cheap when you're playing as him, you know, it's, it's kind of too easy. I like giving myself kind of a challenge, but every once in a while Anakin is so fun to play with. So in the 10 spot is Anakin, but a few years later, known as Darth Vader. 
So Darth Vader's is pretty simple. It's the same thing as Anakin. I don't like playing him that much because I, if I wanted to get first place every game with Darth Vader, I could. But I like giving myself a challenge, you know, picking Maul, Dooku, the guys who are kind of harder to stay alive with, but more rewarding if you actually do end up staying alive with them in a full game. And if you think about it, Vader combined with his super high base health and a heal and damage reduction while you have the heal active, it's kind of hard to die with Vader. And of course, Vader's voice is super iconic and his voice lines are super cool when he's talking to Luke and stuff. It gives you just Return of the Jedi flashbacks, which is a good thing. So overall, I'm not saying Vader is hard or annoying to play as, he just has one glitch where sometimes when you try to choke them, it just throws them onto the ground without doing any damage. But overall, Vader is a super solid choice if you feel like getting leaderboard in a game, or even first place. So rounding off part 1 at number 11 is Count Dooku. So Dooku is also pretty simple. If this was just a Heroes vs. Villains ranking on how fun they were in that mode, Dooku would probably be a easy top 3. Same thing with Chewbacca, who's, who's going to be in part 2. If this was just Heroes vs. Villains, Chewbacca would be a solid top 5. But Dooku and Chewbacca just fall into the same category. Their abilities just are not made for trooper game modes. But I personally love choosing Count Dooku in Galactic Assault because he's super fun, but he's also a challenge. That's one of the reasons of what makes him so fun. And also, if this was a video on ranking voice lines and just their overall emotes and everything, Dooku would be my top 5 too. And I would just say Dooku would be a 1 or 2 spots higher if he didn't have that horrible animation, lunge animation, where he just twirls and doesn't even go forward. But overall, if you want a challenge in Galactic Assault to actually stay alive and do well, I recommend choosing Count Dooku. And if you want to get first place in Heroes vs. Villains, I recommend choosing Count Dooku. So that is going to be the spots 1 through 11. Stay tuned tomorrow for spots 12 through 22 in the most fun heroes to play in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So that is going to be it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to share and subscribe and like if you did. And as always, I am Wiggle Rito, and I will see you guys in the next one.